In this video, I will be showing you how to reprogram your DB04R 4Q system to do all kinds of exciting things, including how to expand the system if you want more queues. The reason I've done a video on this is because there is a bit of a knack to doing this, and the instructions supplied with many of the units, particularly if you buy them direct from China, aren't particularly good. The one thing that is common to reprogramming in all of these instances is using the learning buttons on the back of the unit. So if we turn the unit over, you'll see there's four holes with recessed switches in. You can access these quite easily with a blunt stick, something like this skewer, which I've uh, taken the pointed end off. Um, so you've got keys one to four along the front and turning it over, these will be reversed, four, three, two, and one. Now a long stick is gonna be difficult for me to use on a video and film at the same time. So I'm simply gonna be using a, a shortened stick so I can turn the unit over uh, and push it in and show you what happens on the top of the unit while it's been reprogrammed. Here we have a DB04R in its default configuration. So one corresponds to Q1 on the system, two, three, and four. So let's say we want to fire keys one and two from button one. Well, Q1 is already assigned to button one, so we just need to assign Q2 also to the same button. So here's what you do to reprogram. I'm gonna put my stick in there, ready to press. Okay, so this is the order you need to do things. You first of all press the stick onto the button. You'll see there that the Q is actually flashing. Uh, this bulb is just to show you how it all works. So um, obviously you won't have a bulb in yours flashing at the same time, but your LED will flash. So then you press the button on the remote control that you want to correspond to that Q. So in this case, it's one. Then you let go of the programming button first, then let go of the remote control button seem to have to do it in that order on this system, otherwise it won't register it. And now, if I press button one on the remote, you'll see that actually keys one and two uh, both fire. Um, two doesn't work anymore because it's been assigned to key one, and three and four are left uh, as they were. To turn this into a fire all unit, that is to say you press one button and all of the keys fire, we just need to expand on mapping buttons to individual keys like we did in the previous example. So we've already got one and two mapped to button one. So it's simply a case now of um, putting uh, three into programming mode like so, pressing one, let go of the programming button, let go of the remote, and then do the same thing on four put it into programming mode, press button one on the remote, let go of the programming button, and let go of the remote, and there we are. So now, if I press one on the remote control, all four keys fire. If you need to reset the unit back to its original settings, you do this using the reset button on the top. It's another recess switch, so I'm just gonna put my stick in there. You press it in, the main LED flashes, you then press number one on the remote you want to reset it to, let go of the reset button, let go of the remote, and it is now reset. So it follows the default pattern, one, two, three, and four, correspond to one, two, three, and four on the system. Let's expand the system now. So I'm going to turn it from a 4Q system to an 8Q, and you can just carry on this process with an extra unit to make it a 12Q as well. So the original units there, that is my um, extra DBO4R. So one, two, three, and four corresponds to one, two, three, and four here, uh, but uh, five, six, seven, and eight don't actually do anything because they're not programmed to this unit. So following the same procedures as I showed you before, first of all, we need to map button one onto five on the, the remote, two onto six, three onto seven, and four onto eight. So now we have the original one to four, but five, six, seven, and eight will fire the four keys on the additional unit. One thing you might want to do with two units is to pair them up so that pressing button one 
fires Q1 on both systems. The easiest way to do this actually, rather than mapping uh, individual buttons to this, is simply to do a reset on the second unit and tell it to also pair up with um, your remote control. So if we do that now, so what will happen now is when I press one, both key ones will light on each system. Same for two, three, and four. So this remote control now is paired to both of these units. If you had another remote control and you want to put it back on this, then you would use the same reset procedure with the other remote control. This system is actually very flexible in the sense that you can program any key to be controlled by any button on any compatible remote. Just to give you an example of this, let's say you had two family members who each wants to be in charge of their own fireworks but using their own remote controls. So this is set up at the moment so the firing system responds to uh, one remote control, the other remote is paired to a completely different unit. So what I'm going to do is reprogram three to work on this remote. So put it into programming mode, press three, let go on, on the unit, let go on the remote. So that's done. Same procedure for four. Okay, so now on remote control one, one and two control keys one and two, but three and four are deactivated. And on remote control two, one and two don't do anything, but three and four control three and four on the main system. I'd like to very quickly touch upon compatibility or lack of it with remote controls from other firing systems. So I'm going to use my pointed stick here. So this is a one key system. I bought a set of four and with that came a four button remote control. Now this will look familiar to you if you've bought a single DB04 with a four button remote. The casing, the buttons, they all look identical, but this is only compatible with this system that I bought it with. It will not pair with the DB04R no matter how hard I try. Also, the one button remote control which fires my one key system, that will not pair with the DB04R either. And vice versa, I cannot get the 12 button remote control to pair up with my one key system either. So if you are buying a DB04R and don't already have one of these already, I'd strongly recommend that you do buy a 12 button remote control uh, with it at the time to allow for expansion. If you don't, if you just end up with uh, one of these four button remotes and then you buy a separate remote control, make sure that wherever you buy it from does explicitly state it is designed to work with the DB04R. And last but not least in this video, you will have noticed that this hole drilled in the top for the reset button along with the um, four holes on the bottom of the unit uh, are all very good ingress points for moisture, dirt, small insects and so on. So waterproofing this system is going to be essential. There is already quite a, an extensive video on my YouTube channel showing ideas of how to weatherproof systems in your back garden. I will quickly just touch upon this though in this video. Um, this is a really useful box, 0.35 litre, and it is actually almost made to measure for a DB04R system. You put that on the top there. Um, there is leeway around the rim for your wires to come out uh, without the lid snapping too tight over them, even when the lid is completely in, in, case, in place. So this is a snug fit. I mean, this could be made to measure really for this system. So that's a, a recommendation there. So that's a really useful 0.35 litre box. Uh, really useful boxes also do a double height version of this same box, the 0.7 litre box. And if I can just show you this box, because as well as offering similar levels of protection from your system, the extra height means that when you finished your show, you can actually store your remote control and your batteries with it as well. So again, almost another made to measure uh, box for this system. So those are my recommendation for boxes for the DB04R.